Hey, Sneaky Lens back in today. Another one for you. They are saying, Sneaky, not another Papi Linux. No, it's not. It looks like Papi Linux, isn't it? But it's not. This is Quirky 8.3. came out a few days ago. It was supposed to be a bug fix, but there's so much went on, they just brought it forward and it's now 8.3. Now, Quirky is made by Barry Cowler, who made Papi Linux to start with. Now, when he stood down, he took Quirky with him to use as an experimental basis and platform, really. So it's actually it's different distribution. It is puppy-like, but underneath it's really not. Still uses a bit of woof, but hey, who cares? Now, because being puppy-like, everything is where you'd think it would be. Okay, so that's super fine. So do that. And also, Quirky is meant to be installed. It's not really meant to be used as a live CD, okay, or DVD, whatever you want to call it. Now, I did try using it with a save file, okay, and that just seemed to muck things up. So if you do a full installation like I have done here, everything runs hunky-dory. I'll open up a writer for you here and calc. No, this is the other thing. It's so fast. This is the thing. It's super fast. I'll do calc. Watch. One, two, bang. Done. Look. That's how quick it is. Open up the browser, which here would be Seamonkey. Fast. See how quick that is? So we go to Barry News. See? Lovely. Nice and quick. So if you want a really, really fast system, even if your machine's a few years old, bearing in mind this is a quite a new machine, this is a four-core machine I'm using on it today. Super duper. I like it. Yeah. Anyway, where was that? When you install it to a hard disk or even a USB disk, but say a hard disk is what I've used here, what you will find is there is no boot manager here. Okay. So if we go down to utilities or file system, G part is there so you can partition at your hard drive, but there's no grub or anything like that. So what I did, because I'm so lazy, I just took out the disk. <coughs> Put in a Tarpup 64 disk, because this is 64 bit by the way, and just done um, grub for dust from there, and all went tickety boo, hunky dory, lovely chubbly. I know, lovely. Right, we'll just go quick for it quickly for you, but the main reason I'm showing it to you is it is so quick, okay, really, really quick. It's too quick for me, really, to be honest with you. My mouse just can't keep up. I need to change to a different mouse, really, for this to make it work correctly for me. Uh, as I've shown you before, LibreOffice is here, see, the mouse just goes everywhere, it's so quick. There's PDF Viewer, everything there you need, under business, LibreOffice base. See, it doesn't use Abbey Word or Numeric like the others, okay? It goes straight to the big boys. Okay. Now, under Internet, I've installed Firefox, so let's have a look. And I've also installed Flash, although you don't have to. So if we quickly go to YouTube, just see if it works there, Uncle Dorley. Looks all right to me. Click on there. Reasonably fast, reasonably fast. So we want to view in UK English. That looks good to me, and we'll put me in, so we're not breaking any rules, okay? Ooh, there I am, look. We go straight to one of our videos, and then it's Uncle Dory. We're not breaking any rules, so we just go to this old one here, four months ago. It should run fine. When we get rid of these ads, which get on my nerves, but hey, somebody's got to pay for it, haven't they, at the end of the day? And there we go. Nice. I also found the resolution on this one, I can't get to 1920 by 1080 either. No. Which is a bit of a pain, really. There we go. So it looks a bit stretched on this screen at the moment. I'll be later. But as you can see, runs hunkily off the dory. It's not much we can do. That's better, isn't it? Actually, it looks alright, even stretched, doesn't it? Maybe, yeah, it's alright. I like it. It's cool. Everything works as it should do. If you have a player here for playing your DVDs, etc, etc. It's Xene, it does them all, so you don't need nothing else. We'll close him down. I'll go back to the menu again for you, just to show you a couple more things. This video is not going to be too long. We have got, oh, let me stick again up. We've got a radio streamer called P Music. So we'll open it up. This is a one-click download and install the radio station index. Should we do that? I don't see why not, so just click on it, install. And now we've got to wait while right, it downloads the index. So what about, oh, we didn't have to wait very long, did we? So if I scroll down to United Kingdom, there we are. Let's have a look down here, what have we got? Anything interesting? We'll click on play. Is anything happening? Uh, yes, there we go, look. Lots and lots of radio stations you can just stream directly. Lots of independent, did I see Radio 1, 2 or 3 or 4? No, but they'll probably be there somewhere along the line. All the BFBS stuff, there's loads, loads, loads. Oh, there they are, look. One extra, Radio 1, Radio 2, Radio 4, 5 Live, 6 Music, it's all there. Works super. Okay, so that's another nice program he's put it in. 
Now, if you want a super snappy system, this is going to be the one for you to play with, even on a USB stick, okay? So go download it, go to the Puppy Linux site or Barry Cowler's section, and download Quirky 8.3 to be nice, okay? I'll see you later. Bye-bye.